What? You love it so much you can't stop staring at it. OK, now you're just being ridiculous. Well, better to be ridiculous than sneaky. I wasn't being sneaky. Then why did you hide the present from your new squeeze in the first place? Can you hear yourself? Rafe is not my new squeeze. Isn't he? Are you sure you didn't just hide that gift because it actually means something to you? No, I hid it from Stee. OK, so if I hadn't have found that, you would have told me about it, yeah? No, of course you wouldn't. See, see, I knew it. Ethan, I am trying to make another man fall in love with me. And I am acutely aware of how awful that must be for you to watch, because if it were the other way around, I would hate it. But I have no feelings for Rafe. <sighs> OK, fine, I suppose that makes sense. But this is our plan, Sienna. Right, we're in this together. Yeah, of course we are. You know, despite your many flaws, you really are the man for me. <laughs> Wait, what flaws? I think we should get back to the matter in hand. And this is a really good thing. No, that's so not you, anyway. No, it's vile, but what I mean is, I'm reeling him in. All right, what do we do now? Hi. Thank you for coming. I know this was short notice. Is everything OK? Sienna, I want to speak to you about what almost happened yesterday. Yeah, I am so sorry that I had to run off like that. It's just We need to take a step back. Oh. OK, if, if that's how you feel. Why did you give me this? So I let myself get carried away. Then I started thinking about Ethan and his problems with addiction. OK, but that doesn't have anything to do with me and you. Well, despite the fact the two of you have split up, I realise he's still in your head. He's not in my head. He's, he's just hounding me. Even so, it's complicated. I think you need some space to deal with the situation. Yeah, of course I do. And you're right. It's best to nip this in the bud now before one of us gets hurt. I have to, um, pass this on to James Nightingale, but I... I really am sorry. Excuse me. Darling? How are you? Well? Well, I just got pied for someone he calls Darling. Or maybe it's the woman he used to live with, you know, the one with issues. No, when Rafe spoke about her, I definitely got the impression that that is someone from his past, and this person is definitely in his present. So our next mission is to find out exactly who she is.